In this video, we're going to discuss why your cat keeps getting up on your counter and what you can do to keep them off of your kitchen counter. Hi, my name is Amber Akar and I'm a certified animal trainer and pet expert. These are my cats, Finnegan and River. Now, before we get into how to get your cat to stop jumping on the counter, let's discuss why they might be doing it in the first place. Now, cats love to climb, and so high spaces are something that our cats always want to get up on. A lot of the times, the highest place in the kitchen can be the kitchen counter. And so it's really important that if your cat continues to jump up on the kitchen counter, we pay attention to the layout of the land. Cats like to know what their surroundings look like, and it's natural for your cat to wanna to jump up on something high, like the counter. So if your cat is feeling stressed or they wanna get a better view of what's going on in the house, they may jump up on the kitchen counter. Sometimes it can be that your cat is stressed and they wanna get up and away from something, such as another cat, a dog, or maybe a running toddler in the house. Cats love to perch on a day-to-day -day basis. They may specifically climb to a higher ground if they're feeling stressed out, since it helps give them a sense of security. Cats naturally, in the wild, climb trees to look for food and to feel safe. It's really important that we provide an alternative location for our cats to climb on if they're feeling stressed out. Now pay attention. Are you leaving scraps out on the kitchen counter? If your cat is able to get up on the counter and find some leftover food, they're very likely to jump up on the counter to see if there's any scraps in the future as well. Cats do what works for them and climbing up on things can often lead to getting attention from you or maybe getting some scraps. So if you tend to have food out on the counter without realizing it, you may be reinforcing your cat's behavior. So make it a habit to put tempting food away as soon as you're done with it so your cat is not tempted to jump up on the counter and sneak a little bite. Now your cat may be jumping up to get attention from you. So if your cat tends to get greeted by you or get pets after they've jumped up on the counter, we also have to be sure that we're not reinforcing this behavior accidentally. If you tend to pet your cat or acknowledge your cat and give them attention after they've jumped up on the counter, your cat is learning that the kitchen counter is the best place to be. So what can we do to keep our cats off of the counter? It's really important that we provide an alternative location for our cat to climb. Cats love being up high, and if the highest place in the kitchen is the kitchen counter, your cat's going to jump up on the counter 100%. Seeing as climbing is a natural instinct for cats, we wanna support this and create an enriching environment for them in a location that we would prefer them to be. Providing plenty of high spaces for your cat to climb and explore, such as cat trees, shelves, perches, and other alternative options for your cat's climbing behavior beside the kitchen counter. A cat tree with multiple tiers is a great and engaging option for an energetic cat. Finding a cat tree that has scratching elements to it can help prevent some other behavior problems as well. If you're low on space, maybe consider a window hammock for your cat. These are a great option because they take zero floor space and are both a vantage point and a comfy place for your cat to nap or lounge. Just make sure that you're finding one with enough support to handle the weight of your cat. One that I use supports up to 30 pounds of cat, so both of my cats can technically sit on this one together. Now, if you've given your cat an alternative location to go to besides the counter, but they're not always going to it and they're choosing the counter instead, what we can do is we can reward our cats for stationing somewhere other than the counter. So I like to do this, especially when I'm preparing food so that my cats are being reinforced somewhere other than the kitchen counter. So I like to grab some kitty treats and make sure that I always reward my cat for going on the alternative location. We call this stationing. If I am preparing their food or if I'm doing something in the kitchen, I want my cat to station somewhere else, such as their window hammock or a cat tree. You can use any sort of alternative location to teach your cat to station away from you and what you're doing, but I find that if it's something your cat already loves to go to and already loves to hang out there, that's going to be an ideal location to teach your cat to station somewhere else. Every time you see your cat making the decision to go to their cat tree or go to their window hammock, make sure you're reinforcing that behavior with pets, attention, treats, and more. We wanna teach our cats that stationing here is a good option and that the kitchen counter is not a good option. Consistency is key when it comes to shaping behavior and that's including training your cat as well. Yes, you can train your cat, but if you are not consistent or there are people in your house that are not being consistent, your cat is never going to learn what they are not supposed to do. It's really important that everyone in your household is on the same page. We wanna make sure that our cat is not receiving mixed messages. If you're teaching your cat to not jump on the counter, but someone else in your house is still petting the cat and encouraging the behavior, then your cat is never going to figure it out. So make sure you're being clear and consistent for your cat so they can learn what their boundaries are. Don't forget to be patient 
Teaching your cat to shape new habits and forget old ones is going to take time. So patience, time, and consistency is where it's at. Now, you can also use some deterrence to keep your cat off of the counter. However, we don't want to terrify our cat and get them to be afraid of us. So it's important that we use safe and effective tools to be fair to our cat when we're training them. Using something like double-sided tape on the counter can be a great way to teach your cat to not enjoy hanging out on the counter. Cats often do not like the feel of double-sided tape on their paws, so lining the counter with double-sided tape while you're teaching your cat to stay off of the counter can be a good, simple way to clearly communicate to them to no longer jump on the counter. Another deterrent that can be extremely effective is an automatic spray deterrent. Now, this is ideal so that you are not associated with keeping your cat off the counter. We don't want our cats to see us yelling, screaming, clapping at them, chasing them off the counter, because the only thing that your cat dislikes in that scenario is you, not the counter. So be sure that if you are going to be using some sort of deterrent, that it is consistent and fair to your cat. And finally, shouting and yelling at your cat is never a good idea. We don't wanna stress our cats out and we want our cats to feel like they can trust us and not be afraid of us. Always approach training your cat and teaching them not to do something with kindness and respect. We wanna make sure that we are rewarding our cats for doing the right thing and teaching them what the wrong thing is in a fair and respectful way. Well, thank you all for watching and I hope that you found this video helpful and that you feel confident when it comes to teaching your cat not to jump up on the counter and providing them specific outlets instead. Anything else that you need help with training your cat, let us know in the comments down below. Until next time.